friends, it's Kelly here with Kelly Crafts. Oh, today I thought I'd bring to you what I'm sending my swap partner for our embellishment swap. Yes, mine is uh, immensely late, and I'm sorry, Angela, that it's late, but but things happen. Hers is a little late, too, so her and I are on the same page of being late. She's had some things happen, and I had a bunch of stuff happening. Um, I thought I was for sure going to get it out on Monday, but during the weekend we had a tree trimmed and the company decided they were just going to throw the limbs all on the side of the road instead of taking them with them like it stated in their contract. So, oh, we had to wait till Monday and then we got a citation from the city and we had to go talk to them and let them know what was going on. So they're taking care of all of it and, uh. So, that has been the latest, and it's just been a bunch of things going on around here. But anyhow, let me start and get this going here. Let's just see what I'm sending to Miss Angela, who's my swap partner. If you don't know, we I do a swap every, usually every month. I've been sporadic here and there. The new one's birthday, and I hadn't gotten this one done, so I didn't do the unbirthday that's this month. But for the embellishment swap... I had Miss Angela as my swap partner, and the group that I belong to is Crafty Crafts by Dina Swaps and Stuff on Facebook. And then Miss Dina does have a YouTube channel, which is Crafty Crafts by Dina. So please go check her out if you haven't done so already. But here's the first thing um, I'm sending her is a sign. This is Bless Our Home and all who enter. I know you guys have probably seen the sign a thousand times, but it's one of my faves, and I love to send it. So I'm going to send her that. And I just made her this little milk curtain. And inside it, I don't even remember what I put in here. Oh, bows. These bows here. I had made some of those. Um, I think they're called angel bows. But they're, they're, they're in there. They're all like that. And then I made her up some stickers. These are uh, vinyl stickers. I printed them and then put holographic paper over top of them and then cut them out on my Cricut. And um, I did do the kiss cut where she can just peel each one off individual. So, I've got those. I'm sending her them. I'm going to send her a pair of socks that has uh, the cupcake socks. Uh, Angela's favorite color is teal. So, I tried to do as much teal as I could. I found a pack of these feathers and I send them her way. She does journaling and stuff. So, I don't know if she can use them. But, I'll send them. And I made her this bath bomb box. And, um, I made the box in the bottom to it all. And I crocheted her a little wash rag. Because within it and has three bath bombs. It's called, uh, Honey Bee. And, um, it smells like honey. Like... It has a mixture of scents in there, and, and I put one in there. It kind of makes it smell like bubbles, bubbly, like champagne -y bubble. It's real effervescent smelling, and it smells like honey as well. So she's got three of those bath bombs in there. Set in a crocheted wash rag. And then Miss Dina did the tutorial for these little purses. And I just had to make one and send it along. And um, this one has, I just held mine together with paper or a clothespin so I didn't lose it. And this just has a bunch of those little tiny mini rolled up flowers. All kinds of different sizes and shapes. So I made her up a bunch of those. This kind of thing I could cut on my Cricut and put it in a little, I have those little pencil cases. And I cut them all out and lay them inside that pencil case and take my glue gun and sit there and roll them at work. <laughs> Give me something to do at work. And then I just made her up this. I won't see her for, I won't have her for Easter. So I just made her up this little Easter basket and I crocheted her this little, crocheted this little teddy bear. And then I made some little beads. Um, God forgive me, I forgot the lady's name. She does these beads happy. 
I'll leave the description link and a link in the description. But it's something Happy Glitter Nest. She's here on YouTube. But she shows you how to make these cute little dangly charms. So I did some that have just plain things like this one says love. And then there's this one here. Just has a little envelope on the back of it or on the bottom. And then this one's a Christmassy one. It's got a candy cane. And then this one just has a snowflake. So I made her a set of them to send along. And I'll link how those were made to the, how the lady that did them. Uh, I'll link it. There are a link down below for that. Like I said, I just crocheted her up a little teddy bear. And then I just put a few little goodies in here. This is a the um, mini the mini Nutellas. I had them at Walmart, so I grabbed one of those. And just some Gilder Dilly little chocolate bunnies. Um, the Reese's Cups, they were in football shape, but I grabbed them anyway. <laughs> and, um, I just did this little, and the great value knockoffs of the Kit Kat bar. I actually like these better than I do Kit Kats. And so, I'm going to send that along. So, I kind of did that for her. And then I'm going to put this in a cellophane wrapper. But I didn't do it so I could show you guys what was in it. And then here's the basket. And it's just a... a butterfly. I had ordered these from my good friend Katrina. She makes these and sells these. And I'll also link that down below. And I just made her up this little basket. And I found a little tutorial on YouTube. And there's some stickers. I'm going to send her, and it's just the, these kind of like hydrangea stickers, and then this one says spring. Send those along. And then I'm sending her the mug caddy. I need to get one made for me so I can just show y'all what it looks like. I don't have to keep untying everything. But she likes owls. So I made her one with owls, and this has the little pockets on the outside. And this will hold, you know, pens and pencils, and you can put things inside the cup as well. So I'm sending her that. And then I made her... I had to send embellishments and uh, um, I forget, I forget now how many we had to send, but I'm over quoted, so I'm okay. But I made her up this little uh, craft tote, and there's pockets on the sides here and on this side here, and there's like little ones right here where you can put, uh, you know, pen, pens or pencils. Things of that sort. That one's a little thick, but it'll work. <laughs> put pens and pencils in there. Um, put craft blade in there. You know, maybe she wants to take something outside and work on it, or she wants to take something, you know, if she's going on vacation and she just wants to take a few little things and some scissors and maybe do some fussy cutting or something. You never know. But in here I've tucked away quite a bit of stuff. So, to start off, I made her one of the beaded pens, ink pens, and I just used the bubblegum beads and put them on there. And then, I also made her, hmm, maybe this one's either glued or taped, I don't remember. Oh, Philly. Nope, there it goes. Okay. One of the uh, pokey tool. I just did some teal and pearl beads, and then I put a charm on there with a little heart, and then uh, I received this in a swap. But somebody had made me some beads, and I put that on there. 
Send me to one of those. So she got those going. And then I made her this little uh, clipboard type thing with some post-it or some notes on it. And then it has a little pen, a little ink pen that goes in with it. Made her that. I did her the little chapstick. It says you are the, you, you are the mom. <laughs> And I put that in there, and then she can pull this, and it'll tear it open. Um, these I got from Timu. These are the, if you watch my Timu orders, uh, they're in there. These are the owl stickers. There's quite a few of, few of them. They're the, they say they're waterproof vinyl stickers. So, there's a whole bunch in there. Um, these mini rosettes I had ordered from uh, Miss Katrina. Like I said, I'll leave the link down below so I had ordered some of them so I put a few of those in a bag and sent them along and then glued one on a paper clip and uh, let's see out on the outside here I made her one of the little tissue holders that matches her little craft bag and down in here are some more things that I got from Tamu this is she likes to do journaling so I thought maybe these would be good for her um, there's little tiny papers and a little notebook. It has all kinds of butterfly stuff. This is also in my Timu haul. So I'm sending those along. Uh, and inside here we have made her a keychain with her name on it. And then I just did this little bear and piece and, and popped them on there. She'd pop, pop it off if she needed to, wanted to use it. But, yeah, just the, um, acrylic keychain. Um, I did some chocolate-covered strawberries. And I just die-cut, or, you know, cut these out on my Cricut. And then, uh, the paper that was the chocolate part, I did some glossy accents on it to make it look like chocolate. And the, um, this is the lipstick pen. This is a pen in here. And it says, be as bold as your lipstick. The Kate, the paper packaging part comes from uh, Paper Pixie. So I'll try to remember to link everything down below. But Paper Pixie, she has a YouTube channel and she makes the little favor. She calls them a favor box, I believe, for them. And then this is the an owl die that I had gotten from my swap partner off of Timu. And like I said in my Timu uh, haul, I just printed out the picture to kind of show her what it was supposed to look like without using it. And so I got her that little owl die. Um, I made her some charms. And these, um, I don't remember the name now, where I got the tutorial or they did them. But if I find it, I'll link it. And we just, I just did these old fashion rulers and she can add other charms to these if she wants or whatnot and they just make little dangles and she can make she can make up her own dangles with it if she'd like she does do with anything but when I send out a swap it's it's you know you can pick out whatever you want to keep and the rest of it you won't use and you know somebody that would or need to have something for a swap, go ahead and use it. I don't care about passing it forward. Rather you pass it forward than it sit in a drawer for umpteen years just taking up space. <coughs> and then I made her up these stickers. Now these are just plain stickers. They don't have any um, uh, holographic on it. Uh, and I just use some of those thicker letters that um, I got, I believe Miss Dina had sent them to me. So I used those and just put stickers on it. So she knew that they were stickers. Because those aren't kiss cut stickers, those are all pull apart stickers. I've had this owl floating in my craft room for ages. I think great right when I started my YouTube channel or before, well it was because I got this, this from BB Crafts. And, um, I, it's been in my jewelry box thing in, in my drawer for forever and I found she said she liked owls and it dawned on me I had that and I said oh I'm getting that giving that to her 
So I've had him for years, so he's finally found a home. I made her a oh, Memdex card. It has all my information on there. But it's just a little cut up, cut out bunny, and then I've inked him and glued him together. Several of those coming. Um, get her the B. These are all just cut out, and then you ink them and then glue them together. And then I did her this little teddy bear. Um, let's see. And then this one I did a telephone that says howdy on it. Because I'm from the south and we say howdy a lot. <laughs> so I did her one of them. Um, this is not a die. This, they, all of this was out of my Cricut. And this one I kind of like, I kind of made it up myself. They had a file and then I just kind of... Uh, deconstructed it and reconstructed it on how I wanted it to look. And I did this little duck. Since we do have Easter coming up, what she could do with a little duck. I'm just checking to make sure I'm still recording. <laughs> then I did her the little telephones. I've made these before, and for as embellishments. And then it just has the hello on there. Now these are what I'm calling jelly bead or jelly bows. Back in the day when I was a kid and we had Lisa Frank, there was also this thing called jelly bows. And I loved some jelly bows. They came as hair tie hair bows, they came as accessory bows for notebooks and whatnot. And all this is is this vinyl that I got off of uh, Amazon. And all that, I think I typed in jelly sheets or something like that, and they brought up these sheets. And, um, now the only bad part is you cannot hot glue these. You cannot E6000 them. <laughs> I've tried every glue I've owned, and I could not get them to stick. The only way I could get them to go together was to poke holes in the corners of the bow, and then use a brad to put them together. But these are what I made, some jelly bows. If you guys want a tutorial on them, or anything you see here, uh, let me know, and I will... Gladly try to get a tutorial out your way. But those are my jelly bows. Uh, let's see. What else do I got in here? There's a bunch of stuff in here. I made her some. There's some rosettes that I had gotten in a swap. And then I had cut out these on my Cricut and made her the little bunny, bunny butts. <laughs> Oops, I didn't get out of them. There are some shakers. And these are flip-flop shakers. And then I just took the inside because this was the uh, double, or it was a sticky, sticky foam. And um, after I cut them out on my Cricut, I just glittered them up. Or I stuck glitter paper on them and then cut that part out and used the inside of this to make an extra embellishment. But there's some little flip-flops. I kind of mixed it up. These are scissors that I had done on my Cricut because I did them a while back because it seemed like every time I go to scrapdiva.com that die was sold out, sold out, sold out. And I said, well, I want one and I'm going to make my own. So I did. Now this is not the version that comes apart and or anything. This is just one solid piece. And so I just threw it together and I'm still going to order that die from her soon as I get a chance because um, cutting the foam with Cricut is tedious. I don't like doing it and I'd really like the die. So um, I'm going to have to pop over there to Scrap Diva and get me the scissor die. And then the last, well, it's not the last name, but the, these are shakers. Um, I finally got the honey pot shaker. And then this one, I just kind of designed it in Cricut Design Space. This was Cricut Design Space. And this was a file that I had bought. So, she's got those. And then, um, Timu haul. I had this itty bitty teeny weeny tiny little jars that were like one inch square by one inch square. I just made up a box with a piece of acetate as a lid, and I put a little bit of sprinkles in there, like, um, 
you know, the inside of the shakers. I put some Christmas charms in there, a few tiny little beads, and then some little um, bales that she could glue on the back of like jewelry or a, like a cabochon or something. I'm sending her that. And then I have these that I got from Timu, and these are the little itty bitty tiny little ca uh, cards. They're they're card stock, and there's, they're filled to the brim, and there's all kinds of different little pictures on there. So that is what I'm sending. My slot partners, I think that is it. I'll just double check and make sure. <laughs> but yep, that's what I'm sending my slot partner for the uh, embellishment swap for February. <laughs> and then I know we're into March and we're doing um, it's the unbirthday. Like I said, I didn't participate in that one because I wasn't finished completely with this one and um, I want to make sure I get this one out. She's done, she sent hers out today. So this is, I'm hoping for sure to go in the mail tomorrow. And, um, so now that I got this video done, I can get this in the mail. Alright guys, I'm going to get out of here and go back and lay down. i got to go to work tonight. I work third shift. I work 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. So our post office isn't open until 8.45 a.m. So trying to stay up and not fall asleep is kind of difficult so I'm going to try my hardest tomorrow to stay up and do some stuff and stay awake and get this into the post office so all right guys you have a great day stay safe out there remember I love each and every one of you hit that like subscribe and that share and I'll see you in the next one bye bye